Hey, what's up guys and welcome to part 29 of what if Naruto went missing for 4 years. Remember to get this one to 100 like as usual, share this to all your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out on my second channel Uchiha Naruto the Sage and also I post a new episode of what if Naruto got a new bloodline so go ahead and enjoy it as well. And I just posted a new episode on this channel of what if Naruto was taken by the Raikage. So go ahead and check out that and enjoy as well. And if you're new to this channel and this is the first time you hear my voice, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and join the anime making family and be a part of the channel. And thank you all for your support and help. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the last time we left off, Sakura felt bad because the people at the hospital didn't want she to work there anymore. Mainly the civilians who came in for healing or if they had any small problems because they think of her as a demon. But she didn't care as long as she was with Naruto, she didn't care about any of them. And also she and Naruto was having problem with mating in the last part as they decided that it was finally time for them to do it. As they do it in the last part. And also Kiba was worried about Hinata because she left so sudden after Hayashi has given her to be Kiba's wife. So yeah, that was basically the last part we left off. You guys can switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So let's start this new episode. Sakura twists and she turned as the sun was bothering her as she turned away from it. She then slowly opened her eyes to the sight of Naruto's smiling face. As she kissed his forehead, she then unwrapped his arms from her body and stood up in the bed. As she stood up and prepared to head to the shower, but a hand grabbed her hand. Where are you going Sakura? asked Naruto with his eyes open. I thought you were sleeping, she said with a smile. I was, he said. But not anymore. As he pulled her down on the bed, to start another round. Across the town, Ino was eating breakfast. Just as she was about to finish, her father sat down at the table. Ino, can I talk to you about something? Inoichi said as he sat down at the table, drinking coffee, as he made a deal with Choza and he wanted to talk to Ino about it today. Can it wait dad? I was going to see if I can get all the girls today to go to the hot spring, Ino asked as she prepared to leave the table. Alright, but we need to sit down and have a talk tonight. Okay dad, said Ino as she cleared the table and headed out the door. Back with Naruto and Sakura, as the both of them just finished as they nuzzled into each other. That was great, said Naruto. Yes it was, said Sakura. However, there is one thing I am worried about, said Naruto. What is that, asked Sakura. What if you get pregnant? Your mom will freak, he said. She would, but don't worry. I know bird control jutsus and I use them. So, what are we planning to do today? Well, you need to work on controlling your element and your ability to enter sage mode, said Naruto. And I have to work on mastering some of my father's jutsus. Can we skip lifting weights? My shoulders are killing me said Sakura as she stood up in the bed and rubbed her shoulders. And here I thought that demon chakra would have healed me faster. Wait a second Sakura, said Naruto. What is it? asked Sakura. You will not believe me so I have to show you, said Naruto as he stood up and went for a small hand holding Miro. Before he showed her, he showed her his tattoo. Naruto, what happened to your tattoo? As it was a blonde fox but now, it is two fox, a pink and a blonde one, as they are in a circular motion, their nose and their tails touching. He then showed her the mirror, as she had the same tattoo on her shoulder, that is why her shoulder is hurting. Well, since the blonde fox represent you, the pink fox must represent me, Sakura said as she stood up and find a rope to put on, as Naruto slipped in his shorts. It must be a sign saying that we had sex, she said. Makes sense, said Naruto. 
It's more than that, said a voice from the other side of the door. Can we come in? Sure, said Sakura, as Saito and Katara came in the room. Oh, you just had to do it, didn't you? You just had to mate with her, said Saito. And what's wrong with that, growled Sakura as she looked at Saito. Saito is just being Saito. Pay the idiot no mind, said Katara as she glared at Saito. So this tattoo, you said that there was more to it, asked Naruto. It marks you two as mates for life, warning others to stay away, said Katara, and there is also a physical link. Physical link, asked Sakura. Basically, if you practice, you'll be able to communicate with each other at any time, said Katara. That would be useful in a battle, said Saito. Yes, but the more important thing is that the two of you are linked emotionally. Basically, you feel what each other feels. If one of you are upset, you will feel it. The same with happiness and all emotions. Maybe then I can understand woman better, Naruto said as he laughed, as Sakura looked at him as he knocked it off. See, she already has control over you, Naruto, said Saito as he walked out of the room. An hour later, Sakura was about to head out for her training when a knock came from the front door as she opened it to see Eno there. There you are, forehead, said Eno. What is it, piggy? asked Sakura. Well, you know that I told you about a girl's day out? asked Eno. Yeah, said Sakura, as she totally forgot about Eno's plan. Well, how does today work? asked Eno. I don't know, I want to get some training in, said Sakura. Come on, forehead, it's the last day that Temari will be in the village until next month, the finals of the tuning exams. Go, Sakura, said Naruto. But what about training, asked Sakura. You can't train all the time. Go and spend some time with your friends, said Naruto. All right, said Sakura, as she followed Ino out the door. It didn't take the two of them long to reach a hot springs. When they reached it, the workers glared at Sakura as they entered the locker room. Sakura made sure that Ino didn't see the tattoo on her back. She didn't hide it because of shame. It's because Ino would spend the entire day talking about it if she told her what happened. Luckily, the towel covered her body as she entered the private Yamanaka hot spring. To her surprise, Tenten and Tamari were already there. What took you guys so long? asked Tenten as she sat in the hot bubbling water. What? Did Ino have to drag you out of Naruto's bed? asked Tamari as she sat at the edge of the water with her feet in the water. No, I was up, said Sakura as she took the towel off and entered the water. Yeah, but your demon guards wouldn't let me in for a while. What was up with that? asked Ino as she entered the water. They are guards. You are not supposed to get past them fast, said Sakura as she grinned at Ino. She has a point, little cousin, said Temari as Sakura and Tenten looked at her. What? asked Tenten. You two are cousins? Second cousins, said Temari. My aunt was Ino's grandmother. What? How does that work? asked Tintin. She married my grandpa, who was a spy for the leaf and the sand. And my mom was born in the sand, trained in it, said Tintin. But when they finished their mission, they returned to the leaf. Where she meet your dad and had you? said Sakura. Yeah, said Ino, as she looked at her cousin. Apart from the blonde hair, we share nothing in common. Temari, sorry if I offend you, but you are a tomboy. None taken. Living in the sand, we don't have time to worry about flowers like you, flower girl, said Temari. What about Shikamaru? asked Tenten. Yeah, we do share the little boy, said Temari. Don't worry, Temari. I am not interested in your little boy, said Ino, as Temari blushed a bit. So you do like Shikamaru? Asked Tintin with a smile. It's kind of a known secret, Temari, said Sakura. However, I don't think that Shikamaru know. So what if I like the little boy? Hell, Tintin has Neji, 
Sakura has Naruto and Hinata had Kiba, doesn't she? So why can't I have Shikamaru? Say Temari. There is nothing wrong with it, but Hinata and Kiba were forced together, said Sakura. I don't think that Kiba mind that much, said Ino as she reached up and pulled her ponytail, letting her hair flow naturally. And what about you, Ino? Any guy in your life? asked Tenten as Ino blushed. Yes, do tell us, Ino, said Temari as she got into the water as well. Meanwhile, in the demon world, Naruto found himself standing before Silali, lady of all demon lions. What bring you to our world, Naruto? asked Silali as she sit down on her throne. I have a message for Hinata, said Naruto as he held up an envelope in his hand. From who? asked Silali. From Kiba. But I also want to talk to her, said Naruto. I see, said Silali. As she jumped down and head towards a training field. When they entered the training field, Naruto saw Hinata with a bow and arrow. As she pulled back and released it and sent it flying, hitting a mile away, there was a target a mile away, as Naruto was impressed. It is a natural mix, the Byakugan and the bow and arrow, said Selali, as Hinata then looked at Naruto, I will leave you all, said Selali, as she vanished. Why have you come Naruto, asked Hinata as she turned away and placed her weapons on a nearby table. Two things Hinata, first was to give you this, said Naruto as he held out Kiba letter, but Hinata refused to take it. Is that from Kiba? asked Hinata. Yes, he want me to give it to you, said Naruto, as Hinata shook her head. He loves me doesn't he? asked Hinata, as Naruto just looked at his cousin. I saw the signs, but I didn't want to see them, she said. Because you liked me at the time, said Naruto. Yeah, said Hinata. Go back and tell Kiba that he should move on and find someone else. If we were not cousins and I had told you that, would it have stopped you from loving me? Asked Naruto as he crossed his arms. No, it wouldn't, said Hinata. Then why do you think it will work on Kiba? Asked Naruto as Hinata tried to find the words. Give him a chance, said Naruto. I will think about it, she said. As she then took the letter, what was the second thing you wanted to do? I wanted to say that I was sorry. I should have found a way to stop you from getting the birdcage seal, said Naruto. Don't worry about that, Naruto, said Hinata as she lifted her bangs to show her unmarked forehead. The infusion of demon chakra Destroy the seal. That is great, Hinata, said Naruto. Maybe I should say the same thing about you and Sakura. That tattoo means the both of you are mated, yes? Yes, said Naruto, with a smile and a blush. Good, I may have not seen it earlier, but you two are great together, said Hinata. Thanks for that, Hinata, said Naruto. As he suddenly hugged Hinata, before this, Hinata would have fainted if Naruto hugged her, but things have changed. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask. We are family, right? Yeah, we are family, said Hinata. Well, I'll leave you to keep training and read your letter, said Naruto as he turned to leave. Naruto, said Hinata, as Naruto turned and looked at her. I will finish my training in three years, she said. Yeah. That's the amount of time it took me to finish mine, said Naruto. Well, after I finish, you, Sakura, Shikamaru and myself should spend the remainder of the year working together. Said Hinata, we will need to work together as a squad to win this war. Sounds like a plan, Naruto said with a smile. So, tell Shikamaru, Lady Silali told me that he is training by the western mountain of the fire country. Why don't you tell Tamari to tell him the girls are spending a day at the Leaf Village Hot Springs. I am sure they will be happy to see you and besides 
Shikamaru would like to see Temari, don't you think? I believe they would, said Hinata as she looked down at letter. But before, I need to read this. Sure, we are dealing with Ino here. She will spend the whole day at the hot springs, said Naruto. So, see you later, Hinata, Naruto said. Bye, Naruto, Hinata said as Naruto headed off. After an hour of grilling by the other girls, Ino couldn't stand it anymore. So we have it narrowed down between Lee and Choji. So which one does Ino like? Asked Tintin. My money's on Choji, said Temari. Lee is too much for Ino. That reminds me, where is Lee? He haven't tried to ask me out in a while, said Sakura. I thought you and Naruto were a couple now, asked Tintin. We are, but I didn't think that Lee would accept that so fast, said Sakura. Well, he and Guy went on a training mission. They should be back in a couple of days, said Tintin. They are in for a surprise, said Ino. Stop trying to get off the hook, said Tamari. Fine, said Ino with a sigh, but this does not leave this room. I think I may like Choji, said Ino as the girls grin, but before anything could happen, the hot springs open as all girls turn to see Hinata with a towel around her. Hinata? asked Sakura. May I join you all? asked Hinata. Sure, said Ino. As Hinata walked around and went into the hot springs, across from Sakura, Sakura and Hinata just looked at each other from across the water as Sakura tried to find words to talk to Hinata. Well, this is strange, said Ino as Sakura and Hinata just looked at each other. Listen Hinata, about Naruto, said Sakura. Don't worry about it, said Hinata. I have already talked to Naruto. Really? asked Sakura. How did you think I knew about this little get together? asked Hinata. He came to the demon world to drop off a little letter. From Kiba. So, you are okay with Naruto and me? asked Sakura. You used to love him. Yeah, I did, said Hinata. But that is before we found out that we were cousins. Yeah, that would have made it very gross, said Ino. Besides, I can't really say anything now because of the mark, can I? said Hinata as the girls turned around and looked at her. What mark? asked Ino. As she didn't understand. Yeah, what mark? asked Tintin, as Temari asked as well. It is a demon seal of mating, explained Hinata. The pink fox represents Sakura, and the blonde fox represents Naruto. It means they are mate. You're saying that you guys had sex? asked Ino. Yes, and foxes and wolves and lions only mate with one person for life, said Hinata. Like in a way, she's married now. Really? asked Ino with a grin. So, they are married for life? asked Temari. So does this apply for you and the little boy? Yes, said Hinata. However, I have no idea what will happen if me or Shikamaru should meet with someone that doesn't have demon chakra. You don't know? asked Tenten. Naruto and Sakura both have demon chakra so they could trade. I see, said Temari. Ah, Temari, I was going to tell you to stop by at Shikamaru's training field. We all have a plan to meet up in three years so we can all train together, said Hinata. Sure, where is the little boy training field? asked Temari. Northwest Mountain, said Hinata. That is a little bit out of your way, said Sakura. Nah, it will be fine, said Temari. I wouldn't mind seeing the little boy. I am sure you wouldn't mind, said Ino with a grin. After a nice day at the hot springs, the girls parted way, Temari, back to her hotel room, Tintin, back to her apartment, which she now shared with Neji and Sakura, back to the Namikaze estate, and Hinata, back to the demon world, and Ino back home. Ino entered her home as she found her father sitting down in one of the living room chair waiting for her. Hello dad, she said, as she walked past him to go to her room. Ino, we need to talk, said Inoichi. Oh yeah, I forgot, 
said Eno as she sat down on the couch. What is it? she asked. Well, Eno, you know it's in our tradition. Well, not only our tradition, but every clan in Konoha to arrange marriage, said Inoichi. You arranged a marriage, didn't you? asked Eno. Well, yes and no, said Inoichi. As he couldn't help but think, how much Eno was acting like her mother? What does that mean? asked Eno. Well, he wanted to arrange a marriage, but I know you wouldn't like that, so I changed the custom a bit, said Inoichi. How so? asked Eno, wondering where her father was going with this. Well, we arrange for you and his son to go on a date or two, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So you're just asking me to go out on a date with some boy, and if I don't like him, I don't have to go out with him anymore? No you don't, you just have to go two evenings for dates, said Inoichi. I guess I can deal with that, said Ino as she crossed her arms the same way her mother would. So, who is this guy? And I hope it's not Bug Boy, because if you set me up on a date with Bug Boy, I will say no right away. Bugs freak me out, said Ino, as she shook her head. No, it's Choji. What? Choji? said Ino, as her face turned all red. She couldn't believe it was Choji, the one that she liked. But guys, I'm gonna be ending this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification they posted. Remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out my second channel and watch Uchi and Naruto the Sage and also what if Naruto got a new bloodline. I posted two brand new episodes so switch across and enjoy yourself and enjoy them. And also on this channel I just posted a new episode of what if Naruto was taken by the Raikage. So switch across and enjoy yourself. But without further ado, I'm all for now guys. Peace.